Hi everyone! Today we are going to be doing the second part of our Mother's Day flower bouquet. So last week we looked at how to draw a flower bouquet. Um, I noticed that some of you um, have done, have got a lot of space still in your background. If you feel like you've got just a few flowers and a lot of space, you might want to add a few more flowers around the sides or even adding some leaves can help you to fill that space. Once you've done that, you can start thinking about colour. Now today I'm going to use crayons and oil pastels and some watercolour paints. If you don't have those things at home, you could use pencils to colour it in or coloured markers. So what I'm going to do first is I'm going to use the um, crayons and oil pastels to add some designs on my flowers. So just like this, just to add some interest. And when I go over then with paint, these, these colours and designs should pop through. Uh, might go for... Just a few designs I can paint over. Okay, I might even do uh, something different on this one. Maybe add some spots on my flower. And then some curved shapes in here. Okay, I might add some veins on my leaves. Let's go over them with some green. Crayon or pastel. And just a few different designs on your flowers. That will poke through the watercolour paint. Alright, that'll probably do. Once you've done some designs, you might want to add some designs onto your vase or even on your table. It's totally up to you. Let's go for um, get for some wavy lines. Just to add a little bit of interest. Okay, now I'm ready for some paint. Now I'm not going to paint all the flowers, but I'll just paint over a few so you can show what the so you can see what the oil pastel does. So I've got my water pot and a brush and my paint. So I dip my brush in the water, then I wipe, and then I swirl it around the paint. You can just sort of see that yellow oil pastel is popping through there. I'm trying to stay in the lines. I'm going to change colour, so I'm going to wash my brush out. So I'm going to use a yellow. So those crayons or oil pastels add a little bit more interest than if we just had just, just paint. Okay, finish that flower. Now I won't paint all the flowers in front of you because I'm sure you want to get started on your own. But this is just giving you a little bit of an idea how those oil pastels resist the paint. That means the paint doesn't cover them completely. They just sort of pop through. Um, so I'll keep doing the same sort of thing with all the flowers and the leaves. So if I add, add 
this sort of dark green, see how that goes. Sort of see the oil pastel is popping through there, it's resisting the paint around the edges. There's a bit more interest to those leaves, I might even add a little bit of yellow, wipe the water off. Blend a few different greens and yellows to make it add a little bit more interest. So I'll keep going with those flowers. I'll even do make sure that I've got sort of a greeny colour for the stems as well. And for the vase, I might get a larger brush. We'll just see how these oil pastel resists the paint. Uh, let's go for this pinky colour. See how this turns out. Ah, you can sort of see the oil pastel through, which looks great. If you find that your brush is getting a bit scratchy, it means it needs some more water. And if you find that one part of your project is a bit darker than the others, you can just sort of spread that paint out so you've got a nice, even consistency of colour. Went over the lines a little bit there. Now, I'll keep painting. I'm going to choose, um, once I've finished painting all my flowers and leaves, I'll paint a background colour and then I will paint um, my table and then I'll be finished. Once you've finished painting your whole bouquet, if you could take a photo from a bird's eye view, upload it to Google Classroom and don't forget to give it to your mums or a special person in your life for Mother's Day. I can't wait to see how your bouquets turn out. Have fun.